Uh, my name is Brian Smith and uh, I'm Managing Director of Fionic PLC. And what we're trying to do is turn surfaces that are um, not designed or intended to be acoustically driven uh, into high quality speakers. These surfaces can be turned into extremely effective PA systems. But it's not limited to that because the wide bandwidth that, that we're able to, to provide allows us to, to, to use the product domestically for home entertainment, uh, surround sound systems, even for, for really quite nice quality, um, low hi-fi, uh, one of our partners has described it as. The Soundbug was Fionic's first product. It, it was designed for the consumer market. It would retail about £25 um, and it was launched in 2002. Simple little device, um, about the size of a computer mouse. You plug it in through the headphone jack onto your telephone, in this case, MP3 player or whatever. Um, press the play button and it, it sees it as a speaker basically. So when I attach it to a window, in, in, in the air you don't hear so much sound. On the window, The company spun out of Hull University in 1994, listed in the OFX market in 1999. Originally, the company's name was Magnetostrictive Technological Services. However, that was changed to Newland Scientific PLC in 1999. And after we had thought that through and, and developed our, our trademark Fionic, we decided to rename it Fionic PLC. This application of the technology is, is intended actually to, to solve the problem of when you're in a shopping mall or uh, the tube station or, or the airport and you hear sound only intermittently as you're moving underneath a speaker or, or you know, in the speaker zone and then you move out of that zone into another zone um, or you hear terribly muffled sound because you get echoes and resonances from all over the place. Well, what we've got very, very simplistically is an aluminium profile, uh, a Fionic drive. We excite this profile. What we see is a waveform that, that moves down the rail. We, we've actually successfully run rails up to, to um, 12 metres, 13 metres. Um, and we can go longer than that. Uh, we're anticipating going to somewhere over 200 metres actually for station interiors. Fionic has established um, its, its business to business products, that they're called the F series products, um, which will become the mainstay of, of the company as we expand the territories beyond Southeast Asia, beyond Japan, beyond Norway, Brazil the places we're already trading with, with very good partners who are actively promoting the technology. Bluetooth with the original Soundbug technology also offers some really exciting opportunities. The concept of a wireless, um, go-anywhere, pocketable stereo sound system really becomes quite exciting and that's what Soundbug 2 is all about towards the year end. So that's where the growth will come from, I think.